Yo, 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 shout out to the whole Angry Fat Movement. What up, man? You good? I'm good. I'm alive. I'm breathing. Check it out, B. So easy finally went live since the Geechee battle. You know what I'm saying? He addressed a couple of things. I like what I'm hearing. I'm not even going front, man. Shout out to Easy. I like what I'm hearing. As far as the Geechee battle, he feels like he won the first two rounds. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be, it comes down to the second round. Geechee got the third, Easy got the first. It really comes down to the second. That's how I'm looking at it myself personally. You know what I'm saying? So. You want to debate it, debate it. I feel like the battle did what it's supposed to do. It went super viral. His name was everywhere. Geechee's name was everywhere. It's already at a million views. And personally, it don't take away what he did all the battles prior to that. Here's the thing about it, right? If there was ever a battle for him to lose, it would have been the Geechee battle with all the commotion and everything going on. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of pressure that battle. You had all of that. People want to see him lose. And I feel like he puts himself in his position somewhat also. You don't get it confused. Everyone's not just hating on you easy. You know what I'm saying? You, you Sometimes you act like you are bigger than battle rap in all reality. Saying you're the best in the world and all that. So you're warranting some of the hate from the battles, I kind of feel like. Plus the fact that you're doing whatever you want to do. They, they hate all of that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel like it's like, a, oh man, he got bodied by Geechee. He can't come back to battle. I don't feel like it's nothing like that. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about the Geechee battle. I had myself, I had Geechee winning the second and the third. Dope battle, lived up to the hype. Everybody was waiting for it. Cool. Now moving forward, because that's really what matters at this point, is how's your next battle going to look? He mentioned Tay Rock. Boom. Now he said he's with the smoke for Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? He's with it whether he, however it got to go down, they, they can make it a situation if he don't want to battle on Chrome is what he said. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest with you, Tay Rock. Now, he said it's only battle rap, you know what I'm saying? He don't like y'all because of battle rap things, in all reality. But it's not to the point where he won't get no money with y'all. And let's be serious. Tay Rock and Easy is a big money bag right there, you know what I'm saying? A lot of hype around it. And personally, I feel like, see, everybody was tripping because Tay Rock was standing behind Geechee. I didn't really see a big deal about that to myself, you know what I'm saying? But it was after the battle. When Tay Rock was on the camera, oh, I'm going to kill him. And Geechee killed him, but I'm really going to kill him. And doing, I'm about to talk to Smack and Beasley. Because, like, doing all of that, I feel like you should be battling him right now. And I feel like that's what's been holding Battle Rap back anyway. If you got top warriors ready to go to war, don't wait months for it to sizzle out and die down. And now someone done lost three battles. And now the battle's not even where it's supposed to be hype-wise anymore. Let him go now. Tay Rock's in the mentioning for the run of the year. So it's easy. Let him go now. Lock it in now. Lock it in before the summer. What y'all waiting for? Let's be serious here. I want to see it. Uh, Tay Rock said he's going to kill him. I want to see it. Easy ain't ducking no smoke. So I definitely want to see that. I'm, I'm hyped about that. I want to see Tay Rock's response to this. You know what I'm saying? Um, Like he said, bro, it shouldn't be to the point where y'all are not getting no money together. Let's it like... Like he said, otherwise, what y'all even talking for if y'all not going to battle? Like, word, I feel like that needs to get locked in. That was one. He mentioned Big K. He said there was kind of, there was in talks with that. I want to see it. I want to see it. That battle can dictate who's actually going to be the battle of the year. One of, one of, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the battles right there. Like, I got to see that right there. And I don't care where it's at. I think it's going to be a fire battle. Both of them been going crazy. I don't want to wait a million years. Too many leagues out here. Let's let's stop holding off on these grudge matches. That's the reason why I'm glad Geechee and Easy locked in the way they did. They ain't wait years and years and years. They locked in and got it over with. That's what needs to happen right now. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's what he said about Big K. Hopefully he gets one. Hopefully he gets one of them two battles right there before the year is out. Cause he said he's back outside for one more battle, and I, I like that right there. They're ending it off strong. I think Big K got another battle coming up too. They're ending off strong. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Tay Rock act like he on the homecoming card. This is dope right here. You know he ain't going to battle nobody whack over there. This is dope right here. This is this is The way this year is ending, with the way these battles are put together, are fire. You know what I'm saying? Then he mentioned John John. He said uh, he ain't even know him and John John was going back and forth. Now, I want to say this. John John, I like what you're doing. I see the run you on yourself. You taking all the legends and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You said that he couldn't get, uh, he should get a million views with someone lower than him or like himself. And I kind of understand that. I kind of understand that. You know what I'm saying? He got three million views because he battled Hitman. Hitman guaranteed views. Him and Geechee, that's guaranteed views. I, I get where you're coming from, but I want to say this. You know what I'm saying? 
If you're going to be talking like that, like, because it sounds like you kind of want to battle him, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, show up. Like, seriously, show up, John John. Don't call him out. And then he gets up there, the battle's not even all that, or he beats you clearly. Because they're going to kill you. You got to understand that. that I'm, I'm warning you now. They're going to kill you. They're going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? But after you battled Surf, you was gone. You was MIA after the Surf battle. And I see that you definitely have, worked, have, have gotten it back. But, like, bro, we're not going to sit here and act like because he lost to Geechee, in my opinion, that now all of a sudden anybody can beat him now. Do y'all think John John can beat Easy? Let's talk about it. I want to know. Do y'all think John John can beat Easy? I don't know, man. Did this know what you... Just know what you're asking for is all I'm saying, John John. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you're tactical. Yes, you're a top battler. But, like, bruh, bruh, you're going to have to be on your A game to beat him, man. Point blank, period, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? There's no point in even trying to sugarcoat it or play any game because you can get up there and die to him. I kind of feel like that. I feel like if you go up there, if you go up there, you lackluster, you did, like, bro, he can make it look ugly, I feel like. He's one of them, that the way Serp was making it look crazy, I feel like he can make it look kind of crazy. That's just my personal opinion. Shout out to John John. Um, he said he's keeping the trenches pushing. Talking about they might, the trenches too might be on Tubi or something like that. Like, that could be something different. I ain't never heard of nobody putting battles on Tubi. You know what I'm saying? And obviously he's been active, so he must know a little. And plus he's affiliated with Remy, so he must know things that other people don't know. Maybe there's more bread if you do it like that on Tubi. Everybody can see it then. I guess the only thing would be the traffic. Transferring the traffic from YouTube to Tubi. You, gotta, you have to keep reminding people to go to Tubi to watch it. You know what I'm saying? But I know how YouTube works. So they're trying to find ways to actually monetize. They're getting paid on YouTube. But it's, it could be more on Tubi. I might start blogging over there. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Rosenberg Raw. This Rosenberg Raw situation is getting crazy. He basically said Rosenberg Raw lied. He said that... Because Rosenberg Raw said that he didn't know there was no show and he found out from the internet. Easy said he put it inside of a chat. He said he don't know why Rosenberg Raw said that. He even said maybe he can respond to that. I don't know about y'all two right there, though. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all could be y'all could be doing it for views for all I know. Because y'all really only a phone call away. Y'all was just doing a podcast together. Let's be serious. So y'all really could be calling each other. So I don't know if y'all just trying to, trying to, trying to fool everybody to get back in the algorithm or what. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But he said that. He said Rose could uh, respond if he wants to and clear that up. You know what I'm saying? He feel like Rosenberg wrote a lot about that. And um, he said he's going to continue on with the podcast without Rosenberg Raw. But he's going to continue on with the podcast. I ain't going front. That's kind of weird. I like the, uh, the chemistry they had together, to be real true. I thought they was going to try to take off. You got to understand something here, bro. Because I've been thinking about this. I've been, and I, I want to see what Rosenberg Raw says. I ain't going to lie. But you know what I was just thinking in all reality, bro? And y'all gonna play caps, you jumping out the window, no. And no, I'm not a part of the E-Hop. But I'm sitting back, because I'm really listening to the trenches part and how he's keeping it, pushing it, things of that nature. And I started thinking like, yo, is Easy, is Easy making his way to being a Philly legend? And I know y'all gonna be like, oh, he's not from Philly. Listen, Pennsylvania, whatever you want to say. Because now I'm looking at the battlers. Now, I know Reed and Kaboom and all of them. And everybody, just everybody, Hollow Man, all of that. They was all here prior to Easy. I get that. We know them for what they did in the past for battles, freestyles, whatever the case it is. Easy kind of been consistent. That's number one. Then on top of that, he started a league. That's taken off. That's number two, which is dope because Philly uh, deserves to be. This, Philly is a big part of battle rap. And they should always have some type of shine on them, I feel like. And shout to Stiz and Battle Academy, you know what I'm saying? They're definitely playing their part over there. You know what I'm saying? And now with, with two of them, now Philly just got to have the battlers now. Because y'all got two places you can go. You don't got to worry about traveling out of town. They can come to your town now. Like, y'all literally is blowing it up. And a lot of that is because he decided to go make the league. Now, whether he did it for Philly or if he did it to get paid, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, he's helping the Philly battle rap culture. I mean, bro, I mean, that's part of the reason why we like Loaded Lux. It wasn't just because of the pen. It was because of Lions Den. That's kind of what he's doing right now. He brought Hollow Man back. 
I keep hearing rumors about NH coming back. If he come back on trenches, that's going to be crazy. Like, bro, is he solidified? Like, look at John John, for instance. You got John John the battler. That's one thing. But then you got John John the battler and the league owner with bullpen. Bullpen helped John John's status. I'm feeling the same way about this situation with Easy. When you're really paying attention to it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't just him battling. It's also the fact that he's throwing the league and he he's doing a whole lot right now. That's really bringing the that's bringing the city back. Even him battling Reed, I don't know, man. I think he's low key. At, think about it. Think about it. I think he's low key edging his way into it. Edging his way into it. Let me ask y'all a question. Not even being funny. Who's uh, I can't say that though because Easy's kind of you know what I can't really say it like that. I can't really say it like that. I was gonna say I was gonna start comparing him to Rosenberg Raw and the Bill Collector, but they've been here for a very, very long time. That's probably that probably would be OD doing it like that. I guess he's just on fire right now. You know what I'm saying? But he would have to actually put in years of work before you could sit here and say he's like on a Mount Rushmore type. I, yeah, I ain't gonna talk about the one doing sit it. Never mind. I just acknowledge what he's doing at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So Let's see who we battles next. Who do y'all want to see him battle next? Let me know, please. AFM up, man. I'm out.